What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm actually gonna be working on this 99 CRV. This is one we bought to fix and flip. Uh, it has two burnt valves and uh, I'll put a little clip here to let you see how it's running. So I bought this thing from uh, one of my local scrap guys. I guess he bought it from somewhere else. And it has, like I said, two burnt valves. I did a compression test and got two dead cylinders. And also he cut the converter off of it. So it has no catalytic converter. So I'm gonna fix the exhaust, replace those two burnt valves or however many burnt valves it is, but it's at least two cylinders. So we're gonna get those replaced on it and I gotta take these the lift and the wheels off of it. I took the uh, stock wheels and stock suspension off of this one and put on another one that we had for sale a couple of weeks ago just to get it going while I was waiting for the title to come into this and I didn't have to buy wheels and suspension for the other one that we sold. Uh, these wheels and suspension were on another one that we had and uh, fixed it and sold it too. So I wanted to keep these wheels and lifts uh for my crv the white one that you've seen so as i mentioned you know i bought this crv this is also a 99 but it's manual you can see it already has some mud tires on it but it's stock suspension and everything on it right now i want to take uh this suspension and put on the blue one and i'll probably just get some other stock wheels from something else we have over here we got all this other junk i mean we got cars for days out here but uh, get some stock wheels i may have some stock wheels up in the shed and then uh put stock wheels back on the blue one because it's just front wheel drive the blue one is um but i'm gonna put the wheels and lift on this one but i want some i want some help naming this crv now this is my crv that i'm gonna be keeping we're gonna do plenty of projects with this and it'll be on the channel for quite a while so if you know any good names for old girl let me know you can see she's a little beat you know we got some dents there and then actually <laughs> the other day i had it out here and i got stuck and i broke the tail light i backed into uh that tree see that that tree right over there backed into that and it broke the tail light and it also busted the back glass now i took the back glass from my parts already one right over here the black one and swap that out i'm gonna swap the the tail light as well and uh fix that and then when i bought it, it had these cut fenders i'm taking those off and i'm going to replace the fenders uh, and i'm replacing them with these you know i've had this fender already at my shop so i've already replaced this one you can see it's got the trim on it and stuff uh it's got the side skirt i've got all that i'm going to put on it probably going to get some custom bumpers made some tubular bumpers for the front and the rear and be able to put a winch up here i may make it to where it's like a receiver style to where i can put it on up here or in the back i somehow managed to destroy the clutch so the clutch in it is non-existent so i know several of you have asked about a video for uh, doing a clutch job so i'm gonna do that you know i plan to case swap this thing but um i'm gonna go ahead and do a clutch job on it now just have some fun with it until it's ready to case swap kind of funny because a lot of people on the crv pages think that i did all this damage to this thing I didn't. <laughs> it's funny, you know, people that don't know me, they'll come around. They'll see. I'm gonna have some fun with it. And it may get some bends and dents along the way. And we're gonna have fun with it. It's not a show car. I don't intend for it to be a show car. It's a fun car. So let's get to working on this blue CRV. All right, so we've got it into the shop now. So I'm gonna start tearing this off. We'll put the uh, camera over on the tripod and put it on time lapse while I get this head pulled off. And we'll see what's going on with the head. Hopefully it is just a couple burnt valves and uh, we'll be back in business uh, this evening. So it's about, I don't know, close to 1030 in the morning right now. So let's see how long it takes us to do this.
All right, so the time is now about 11.05. I've got it mostly torn down. All I've got to do is take the timing belt off, take the power steering pump off, and then take the cams out and pull the head bolts. But otherwise, the head's pretty much ready to remove. So I'm going to take a break real quick, go eat some lunch, and uh, I'll pick back up whenever I get back. All right, so I'm back from lunch. It's 12 o'clock now, so we're gonna get started on this and uh, see if we can get it back apart or get, finish getting it apart here in just a couple minutes. All right, so we just got the head off. You see here, head's off. And now I'm gonna replace two valves that are burnt on it. I'll show you those. So you can see there, we got one burnt valve there on cylinder one, and a burnt valve there on cylinder three. So we're gonna swap out those two valves and then uh, get all this cleaned up. And then Cody's gonna work on cleaning up the block and we'll put a new head gasket in here and be ready to rock and roll. All right, so this is the two I just took out of it. All right, this is the two I'm putting back in there. These came out of another head that I have here. I pull valves out of all the time. And uh, I'm gonna get some lapping compound and lap these in real quick. And then they'll be ready to uh, rock and roll. All right, so now we've got the valves replaced on the head. We've got it cleaned up and we're about to reinstall it. Replace this one and this one. So got that in there. Head's clean enough. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. And then we've got a new gasket on here. Good old fail pro. Uh, you got the block, the surface of the block clean and we're ready to slap it back together. Christmas brought so much joy. Couldn't wait for the presents and laughter. I couldn't sleep late at night Looking for Santa with lights Those are the memories I still remember Then I became a man Lost sight of who I am But right in front of me was All right, so we just finished putting it together and now we're going to attempt the first test fire. It's still going to sound pretty loud because it's uh, the cut exhaust from where they cut the cat off, but... It should run pretty smooth. Uh, we haven't put any coolant in it yet, but uh, we don't really need that to do a test fire. So go ahead with it, Cody. I'm gonna stick this old bit stick back in real quick though. Hold on one second. Over. All right. Um, battery dead. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. We had to put our vert van over here with some jumper cables because the battery's dead. Uh, we're going to do a first test fire. We don't have any coolant in it right now, uh, but don't need that to start it. Go ahead, Cody. Still going to sound loud because of the open exhaust.
looking like a kitten now. Just gotta go over there and clean all of it up because it's filthy. I don't like stuff leaving here like that. I gotta put the air intake back on. We'll probably change the oil. And uh, then I gotta change the suspension back over, of course. It's still got the lift and all that jazz on it. But hey, it runs remarkably better than it did. Yes, sir. All right. So we're going down here to try to get my CRV out now. Try to pull it back up to the shop. Now this one is two wheel drive, so I don't know if it's gonna do it or not, but we're gonna give it a shot. Look at him unlocking up those brakes. That's kind of funny. This, you know, a lot of my stuff, this may look flat. This is a pretty steep grade going down to a bottom down here. And that's where my trail goes through. Uh, like I said, all this right here is super slick when it's wet. It's pretty dry today. So we're gonna try to hook to the, the white CRV and see if we can pull it out of here. All right. Let's see if this is going to work. Hold up. All right. drive I don't think it'd have an issue vehicle man <laughs> all right so we got it pulled all the way up here now so i'm gonna go ahead and pressure wash it off get most of this mud off just so whenever i put it here in the shop i don't just get dirt everywhere let's get it all right so that's gonna wrap up today's video right, we got the crv up here i got it washed off I pressure washed most of the mud off of it just because I didn't want all this mess in the shop. I mean, you can see all that mud down there and it's just a ton of it, right? So I just, like I said, I just didn't want all that in my shop. And I also went ahead and I reinstalled uh, the side skirts. Well, this side skirt and uh, the fender trim, right? And then uh, it just made it try to look make it look a little better Ooh, i'm dirty too um and also i did reinstall the rear glass the other day but i didn't reinstall the shocks so i just got the shocks hooked back up and i also replaced this tail light that got broken this corner did get tweaked a little bit so it's bent down just a hair but i mean for what this thing's gonna be and compared to the rest of the truck i mean it's just it looks normal right so that's going to wrap up today's video. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Hopefully we'll have a video coming out in a couple days. I've got a new clutch that just came in today for it because the clutch is toasting and it will not move under its own power at all now. So uh, we're going to replace the clutch. I know that I am eventually going to case swap this thing, but I still want to have some fun with it in the meantime. So I'm going to go ahead and put this clutch in there. We'll talk more about that on the next video. So I hope to see you again on that one. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.